Hi, everybody. All right, we got a lot. Well, I say a lot. There's a few things that we're working on today, as this is what I was working on in order, starting with the EFII wiring. Uh, we're getting to the point where we're going to actually make a connector here. So the wiring comes out pre-wired up. It's hard to tell, but like you can see some like little terminal feet on some of those wires. Uh, and that's all well and good. Uh, I'm just turning it into a 12-prong Molex connector. Uh, so we're sort of spacing out, getting ready for everything there. Basically, that was you know mental exercising. And that's a lot about what building this damn plane is about, is just standing there, fiddling with wire, and then thinking about where is it going to go, how is it going to connect, what needs to connect with it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's a, it's a pain. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we're we working on next. And we're in the cockpit. Oh. Everyone laughs, but those two foot hemostats are a godsend. I think right now they're like 17 bucks on Amazon. I, you know, I'm going to put a link in the video below because I love those things. Uh, if you can, uh, get two pair because you see I, the ones sitting on the bench there, those are curved tip. Uh, you also want a straight piece. So, uh, yeah, here's the thing about that EFII system. So the pumps on the floor, one thing I've forgotten to mention a very long time ago, is that you need to have them spaced off of the tunnel floor. And when you do, when you have them spaced properly, that way when you drop things as you're building, which you will, into the center tunnel, like tiny little washers and screws, uh, they wind up sliding underneath past the pumps down to the bottom right where my knee is, which is why you saw me digging crap out. Alright, so now that we've got all the crap out, uh, we're going to work on that instrument panel uh, cover. Instrument panel cover? What the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about the, sorry, the <laughs> Uh, the control cable bracket. So normally, uh, I, I've gone in a few videos ago, normally there's a piece of metal that Vans provides there. However, it is pre-drilled for a very specific uh, configuration of throttle, prop, and mix, along with a fourth for uh, alternate air. And the new ones also have one for the cowl flap. Uh, two things. One, I didn't like the thickness. So instead, what I have used is one and a half inch angle aluminum that's three sixteenths of an inch thick. So this is some this is some serious stuff. Uh, not gonna break that. And here is the one that I've made, which is as you can see, just throttle, prop, and then alternate there. It does look a little weird without the red knob, right? All right. So for the rest of the video, we're just working on the wiring, trying to figure out how to route it around the engine mount so that it can be secured and also get to where it's going without being too long or weird. And that really is sort of a hard balance. Uh, one thing you can notice, I've got the extension on the throttle cable, if you look underneath there. It's connected up to the butterfly valve assembly. Only thing left to do there is make a bracket. And I just got a sheet of 32 thousandths uh, aluminum. Uh, it's, a, it's a good thickness because it's pretty easy to cut and nice to deburr. But at the same time, you, it, uh, it still bends pretty, pretty easily. And that's what we need, because we're going to make ourselves a little bendy bracket, which you'll see later. All right. Uh, obviously, you're not really going to be able to see much. I don't know why I keep thinking putting the camera on the floor like this is a good idea. You can't see shit. All right, let's just speed this up and get out of here. All right, I just time to two times two speed. All right, in the next video, we're going to be working more on the wiring. Uh, it'll be a little more intensive than this, I hope. Uh, so thank you for joining me, everyone, and see you soon.